What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Wright and today we are driving a diesel. Let's talk about it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing our due diligence in the research category. We already know that uh, diesel is probably going to be the next best thing we're going to need when pulling stormtroopers. So today we went out, we called a great friend of ours to give us a run around, but more or less he gave us the keys to a 2017 Super Duty Ford F-250 as you can see from the logo here. So what I'm doing, taking it on a test drive, I'm going to talk about what I feel, how I feel, what a diesel's like. And I'm gonna do this for all major brands before I make my final decision if there's a final decision to make here in the next couple months So today we're talking for we're talking torque. We're talking power my first impression. This is a 2017 XLT Ford Super Duty F-250 four-door. First off, this is very comfortable. Heated and cool seats. Very nice in the feature department, although I don't think I need all the features, just a few of the minimal ones. Just to have them and knowing what the vehicle is capable of is one of the most important things. A few moments later. The thing I'm already in love with with this vehicle, they have a window extender button here. Um, in my Suburban, it doesn't have anything like this. I would actually have to get longer mirrors to compensate for pulling a trailer, but this is pretty freaking awesome. I am in love with that feature already. So, hey, one of the things I may just so happen to require install on here, but it's pretty freaking awesome to me. Now, other impressions, I will not lie, this is a machine. It is not a machine made for a novice or someone who does not know what power and torque equals. So I had to go have a conversation with my fellow gurus, the guys over at Grills of Mississippi, and they gave me a very big rundown on powertrain and diesels. And I must say I am impressed with what the F-250 Super Duty has to offer so far. Power wise, it's good. Torque wise, which is what I'm missing, it's even better. This is a turbo version, so the more you get on it, it will let you have as much power as you want, even at low RPM. And I'm very excited about that. Not excited enough to make a purchase, but it's impressive. We'll keep going and talking about it. We'll stop somewhere and give a good walk around and talk about the features. And we'll talk about the, the length and the actual feeling interior wise of this beast. All right. Again, we're not making any emotional decisions right now. We're just taking the truck for a drive. We're going to hold it for a day. We're going to take it back safe, nice and neat. No real crazy things are going to happen. But I think I wanted to just go out and start early that would prevent me from making a decision that was sped up. Um, I'm not in any type of pressure right now to make these type of decisions. Um, everything's going good with the barbecue, with the competitions and everything else. So I'm just planning ahead. And when making decisions of this caliber, with a vehicle of this stature, literally of this stature, this is a big vehicle. You wanna take your time and you wanna make sure you're making the right decision for what you're gonna be doing. And for me, this is gonna be a still a part-time thing. I'm not a full-time barbecue guy. So having something that I'll be able to sit and it still retain value and it's not gonna be in any type of danger on a constant occasion, I think it's gonna be a benefit to me and um, get something that's not gonna be a struggle to pay for that way we can still see profits on the opposite side of the ball. So hey, it's all about making smart decisions with whatever you do. You have all the up-to-date features, all the warning systems that would typically come on the 2017 model Ford with this unit. This unit has about 35,000 miles on it. 20 inch wheel and tire package again, has warning markers even on the rear. The camera has a lift gate as well as the back of the uh, vehicle. So you can see in the tailgate, sorry, I got some things back here I need to drop off so that you can back up and hook things up with ease. Uh, this is one of the more extensive packages for the Ford Super Duty class of vehicles. This one has a 6.7 Power Stroke Turbo Diesel. Uh, if you can see F-250 Lariat labeling all the way across. And again, very impressive. Um, speed wise, I'm not a speed demon and the speed's not what I'm looking for in this vehicle or in a diesel altogether, but the power. Let's talk about the power for this one. V8 very good torque on low rpm by low i mean maybe 2500 low rpm wise you have a very good amount of torque so that when pulling something like a 20 foot trailer you probably wouldn't even know it was back there i know i'm probably going to have struggles with knowing it's back there if i do decide to get this one so with that being said you guys let me know what you guys think 
This is our first diesel test drive. We're gonna try every class, every brand. This is the 2017 Ford F-250 Super Duty Lariat Edition. 6.7 Power Stroke F by four off-road version. Um, this feels good. It fits good. The seats don't squeeze me. And it actually feels at points and times like I'm in a vehicle that's a little too big for me. As you can see, we're closing the door. The interior wise, it feels amazing. It's not very, uh, it's not a whole lot bad I can say about this right now. Let's give a quick start up, let you guys hear it. That's gonna take some getting used to. Um, I've never driven, driven a diesel before, but that is very hard to tell when that motor is running. And uh, again, very impressive and very much something I've been looking for. So we'll go ahead and close this one out real quick. Ford F-250 Super Duty, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment box. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. All you diesel heads out there, hit the channel. Let's talk barbecue, let's talk diesel, let's talk about what I should get. Up next, we're not sure what we're gonna get. We're gonna keep this one for the day. We're gonna drive it around, see how it feels. We're not making any emotional purchases. I repeat, no emotional purchases at this time. This is research and we are planning ahead. So with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for subscribing and liking everything that has anything to do with the channel. And always remember, you too can do amazing barbecue the right way. See you next time.